I think we all can agree that a first aid kit is a must for outdoor adventures. I mean, after all, you never know when an accident or injury might occur when you're overlanding, off-roading, or otherwise uh, enjoying the spoils of nature. But having any old first aid kit isn't enough. Instead, you need to know how to shop for a first aid kit to ensure that you get something that you can rely on in an emergency situation. And I, I, I know what you're thinking. All first aid kits are the same though, right? No, wrong. In today's episode of Here's a New Reason to be Terrified of Snakes, we're going to explore why some first aid kits are simply better than others. But first, since we're discussing medical issues in this video, it's important for me to note that while I play doctor on TV, I'm not an actual medical professional. I'm shocked. My goal here isn't to tell you how to use the items in your first aid kit, but to simply enlighten you about the differences between a well-stocked kit and a run-of-the-mill kit. With that said, friends, let's dive into it. You want some entertainment? Jump onto Amazon, type in first aid kit. You're going to find out there's over 2,000 results. And so let's filter that down a little bit by searching for first aid kit camping. Now we're down to just a little bit over a thousand results. Now the bestseller on Amazon is almost 300 pieces for 20 bucks. Hey, what a deal. So let's make this easy. I'm going to order this thing so we can crack it open to see what's inside and compare it to a high-end first aid kit to see the stark differences between the two. Well, hey, look at that. Editing magic. It uh, almost appears that I didn't go anywhere. Well, you're right. I actually, in preparation for this video, this was ordered a little while back. So this is that uh, super popular bestseller on Amazon. So you and I are going to crack this thing open and we're gonna take a look at what you got, what you get. Okay, first impression when I crack this thing open is holy bandages. There is a lot of band-aids. So we're gonna quickly go through this thing here and I have not gone through this. So we have some burn gel, we have, these are like those little ketchup things. Oh. Advil, non-aspirin. Okay, so we have some. And these things feel like they have two pieces or two two uh, uh, Advils and aspirin and stuff like that. So you have a variety of over-the-counter ibuprofen. Okay, some painkillers right there. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna stuff this back in so I don't mismanage because. I don't see how they have this organized. Okay, so that's that one right there. That's a bunch of painkillers. Okay, this is, okay, as we can see here, these are just small little, little band-aids. Each one of these, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five band-aids. So as you can see here, there's a lot of these little tiny things here. Um, yeah, so, so those are gonna add up those numbers quite quickly that we saw the 300. Oh, okay, so hold on, let's see. Band-aids. A little bit larger band-aids. Oh, that's a that's a little different style band-aid as well. We have some smaller band-aids. Uh, okay. All right. So it looks like just on the left-hand side here. I mean, we can see there's a lot of band-aids over here. Just a variety of different sizes. Okay. So these are adhesive. Uh, these are fabric. Okay. So these are going to be the. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. There are those, we have some gauze. Okay, and then we have a zillion, and maybe there's not a zillion of these things, but there is a ton, as we can see. So this is where that 300 number is really stacking up, is all these, these Band-Aids right here. Okay, I'm guessing the fabric ones are probably the more expensive ones because they aren't as many in there as the others. Okay, so. Oh, crap. How the hell did they have this in there? Oh, you know what? There we go. All right. So left-hand side we've established is predominantly all Band-Aids with the exception of a few packages of Advil, ibuprofen, and yeah, boom. All right. So over here we have Sting Relief iPad. We have various ointments here, antibiotic biotic ointments rather okay we have some alcohol pads a little wad of them there we have a roll of gauze conforming gauze i'm guessing these are gloves okay 
All right, we're getting into some some hard stuff here. So we have a pair of uh, very simple scissors. Okay, we have plastic tweezers. We have probably 10 Q-tips. Uh, let's see what the hell this thing is here right here. This is, oh, so this is a thermometer of some sort. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, we have a rescue, one of those like space blankets right here. Digging further in the back, we have instant cold pack. Okay, so it's a single use. We have some tape. We have a couple, I'm gonna call them popsicle sticks. We know there's some technical name for them, but anyways. And then we have an antiseptic towelettes, a whole bunch of them right here. Okay, and first aid guide. Okay, so this thing's going to, uh, so actually that's pretty cool that they have a emergency first aid uh, guide in there with some basic, it looks like some basic how-to stuff uh, for in case of various emergencies and so forth. Okay, that's pretty slick. All right, so one of the things I noticed with this kit right here is there's a lot of fluff. There's just a lot of, they, they advertise that big, big, yeah, that huge number, 300 pieces. That is impressive. But as we can see here, it's predominantly all band-aids with the exception of you have a pair of plastic tweezers and pair of scissors right here. Everything else is really kind of fluff items and so forth. So in case of a real emergency, this kit, unfortunately, if you bought this and you're out in the field and something happens and you're thinking, hey, I got a first aid kit, not knowing what is exactly in here because you bought it because it was a bestseller on Amazon, not realizing what it was, you might be a little disappointed out in the field where it really matters. So here's a problem with this. This is a bestseller on Amazon. And if you look at this, look at all the people who bought this, likely thinking that this is exactly what they need for emergencies. Now, obviously this is not something that will be much use when stuff hits the fan, especially when you're way off grid, far from help. In those situations, you need a well-stocked and organized first aid kit that addresses more than cuts, scrapes, and minor boo-boos. And boom, now this, is the kind of first aid kit that you need for your adventures. Now, this is called a Jump Medic Pro, and you can tell, man, right off the get-go that this thing has the goods for emergency situations. Now, as I pack it, you will see how well organized this kit is, which really makes sense, given that this kit, this thing is designed by a veteran firefighter and EMT who developed this thing. In fact, this kit is organized into four crucial categories. You have bandages, medications, trauma, and medical. And when a problem arises, you can easily open this thing up, as you're going to see here in a moment, and find what exactly that you need because it's neatly organized in a way that really, man, it makes sense, even if you are in a panic. I actually do want to do a quick sidebar note on that panic issue. When you're faced with an emergency, it's really important for you to stay calm every second counts in a life and death situation. So having a first aid kit like this, that's easy to navigate, will really help you keep your cool, get what you need and address the problem in much more quickly fashion. Now contrast the Jump Medic Pro with the cheap kit that I showed you earlier. The cheap one is, man, it's a disorganized mess. So if I'm in an emergency and this cheap kit is what I have in front of me, I'm going to get more anxious about the situation. So a high quality first aid kit doesn't just have what you need for all types of emergencies. Now, all is a lofty word to use there. It is, it is better equipped for more types of emergencies, I think is probably a more appropriate thing to say. But it, where I'm leading with this here, it's organized its contents in a way that will help you keep your wits about you and take care of the issue in a timely fashion. Now, as I've already previewed, the Jumpmaster Pro is obviously a much more organized and much more robust than the cheap one that I ordered off of Amazon. But the big question here is what exactly is inside this thing? Well, hell, let's crack it open and find out. Okay, so to crack this thing open here, we have, we have the Velcro up on the top and we have a zipper on each side. I just kind of cheated my way through there and just pulled it down. And as you can see, as this thing fillets open, whereas the cheap one that we saw, again, that's the best seller on Amazon, it's just loaded. A lot of the items inside of it are Band-Aids. 
the two kind of hard items in there was a pair of scissors and a plastic set of uh, tweezers. So as you can see here, there is tremendous contrast between what is in there and what's in here. You know, what's funny is my, my desk is not even big enough to have all the stuff that's on here. Okay, so let's start right here. Okay, all right, so we have, I'm just gonna point out some of these things here and I'll put a complete list of items that's, that's actually in here, but I'm just gonna point some of this stuff out. Okay, so here's that Mylar uh, rescue blanket. We have an actual digital thermometer rather. We have right here compressed gauze. We have right here, what is in here? This is emergency trauma bandage. I'm going to try to go through this. I'm trying to put it back in here at the same time as I mentioned a moment ago so I don't screw this up. Let's crack open what's in here. Okay, so this is a, looks like a diabetic kit here. Uh, let's see, we have some, some strawberry glucose gel. We have, basically it's a, it's a kit for, with the digital readout uh, for somebody that is diabetic. There is just so much stuff in it. And this is what we were talking about earlier, is having a good idea, knowing what's what's in your kit. Up in the top there, we can see a, a large roll of medical tape. We have the gauze over here. We have, what is this here? Oh, these are gloves, okay. Okay, cool. That's nice that they actually gave two different sizes up in the top there. Okay, we have, boom, more gauze. Okay, so now up here, all right, we have, geez, there is just, this is testament to what I was talking about earlier, is you need to really go through clear eyes. You have bleed stop. All right, we have one of these, the oxygen shows your, uh, your oxygen meter here. Again, boom, that's pretty cool. Okay, a lot of, it just again, there's a lot a, a lot of items in here, an actual, a lot more than those. What was in the Amazon kit, excuse me. Over here we have, okay, looks like some tissue, and we have some triangular bandage over there. We have a razor. There is just, as you can see, there is just a tremendous amount of items in here. Okay, this is falling down. Okay, this is a hand sanitizer. This is sterile water, sterile water. Looks like we have a, a syringe here. We have a couple needles for that right there. Okay, going down, boom. Okay, we have more gauze pads. And these are four inch by four inch. Okay, four inch by four inch. Okay, so you have a lot of, and then some two by two gauze pads right there. Makes me wonder. There's a lot of things in here. Makes you how wonder it takes them to put these kits together. Okay, so we have some conforming stretch gauze. A couple of them right there. We have IVX, which all I have to do is look at poison ivy and I catch it. So I'm thrilled to see that. Safety go goggles right here. We have a chem light. Okay, so now that's that. Let's go to the front of this thing here. Okay, one side here we have, okay, this is a tourniquet, little flashlight right here, and I'm sure you all know what this is right here. Oops. Boom. Blood pressure, and of course, listen to your old heart there. On the front here, 
And here we go. We have the first aid guide. So again, a lot of actually there's quite a bit up here. Okay, there's that showing how to use this is all of our all the instructions and certification and all that other fun stuff right in the front. And one thing I do want to point out here, the review of the Jump Medic Pro contents isn't just to show you the massive difference between it and the cheap kit. Instead, it's a good practice to know what you have in your first aid kit. So before you hit the trail, take inventory of the kit, note where the specific items are kept, and above all, if you don't know what some of the items are or how to use it, consult with the proper sources to get educated. So in that case, proper resources include outfits like the American Red Cross, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And now what I've done is I will link to both of those down in the description below so you can learn more about these items that you need in your first aid kit. Now, I will also link in the description to other educational resources like the Wilderness First Aid course that is going to come in handy if your outdoor adventures take you into the backcountry. Now, obviously, we all hope our outdoor adventures go without hitch in that we won't need a first aid kit at all, but it's best to be prepared for accident and emergencies than simply hoping for the bad things don't happen. Now, you know, friend, I'm no mechanic, but I know my way around vehicles and what's in my tool bag enough that I can diagnose and fix common problems, issues that might occur when I'm off road. Now, the same principle applies to the first aid kit. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse, but I've taken the necessary time to learn first aid basics, explore what's in my Jump Medic Pro kit and learn how to use some of the various components. So before you go heading out into your next adventure, take stock of your first aid kit situation. If you find it's like this one, hey, an upgrade might be needed. Now, if you like what you see with the Jump Medic Pro kit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can pick up one of these for yourself. Now, with that said, it's uh, friends, it's time for me to sign off. As always, thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me of your time here with me today. Now, if you found this video to be helpful or informative, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. So friends, I'll see you in the next video.